Why there is so much fight between developer and QA in any organization? Well, God knows. So, you know, we often notice that, you know, uh, something work over developer machine, but not on the QA machine. And QA are the people who have to make sure everything is working fine before they ever go ahead. If they don't, you know, they compromise with the quality, they are the person who are going to be questioned if something got break on the higher environment, right? And that is why there is, you know, sometimes are differences between QA and developer. And there is one more issue that, you know, while they are making the API testing, sometimes we have noticed that QA people are completely dependent on developers. Today video, we will try to reduce those dependencies and we will show you how can we, you know, a developer and QA, they can be a friend, right? And how QA can be a less dependent on developer for some of the questions like, hey, I have to make this API testing how, what are the requests that I need to pass? From where I can get a token, right? What should be the parameters? All those questions, we don't need to be dependent on developer and we can go ahead and do by ourselves. Same for developer. If a developer who want to, to perform, you know, uh, something on the, uh, their API side and they're very new to the project, they don't have all this information like request body, token, they can, you know, Go ahead and start by their self. Okay, so let's start the live demo. Let me show you. Um, so what do you need? You need a Postman tool, right? So Postman tool we are going to use for today testing. Okay, so that is one thing. Let me <clears throat> open a Chrome and I will show you how we can use that trick. Let me open a very famous website that should be maybe a Facebook. Yeah, okay. So let's open a face Facebook. Mm, let's go to my profile. Open the inspect element. I'm using at the time Chrome. So you can use any browser. You will see the same option over there also. So let's go ahead with uh, Chrome. Here you will see network tab, right? Within your dev tool, we call it dev tool. We call it inspect tool, right? So let's stick on uh, dev tool. So over here, there is a network option. If you refresh the page, you would have all the APIs uh, listed, which is, you know, we called on this page, right? So I see list of APIs and by name, I see, you know, there's some GraphQLs. So let's search for GraphQL, right? So I see these are the real APIs, okay? And I can see the data over here. If I go over here, okay, so I see a list of friends name right which are of mine okay so now if i have to make a same call from the postman what i had to do there will be a lot of things you should know you know what header request you need to pass right let me open that okay so you should know what header request you need to pass right you should know one thing let me close this ppt so i can give a better view okay Coming back, so yeah, so I was talking, you know, you should know about header request, you should know about, you know, what would be the username and password, I mean the token that, you know, accepted by this API, right? But let me show you one trick. You don't need to know anything. What you have to do all, whichever API you want to test, you have to select that, do right click, go to copy, and there is option called copy as curl bash right so we call it curl request right so what we are doing we are making a curl request and what do we have to do if you go to postman now there is a nice option on the postman something called import click over here now you will see raw text right and whatever you have copied from that facebook or any website just paste it over here right you don't need to understand these things just say continue and then last import all done now let me, you know, make a request. So see, I have whole data, right? I have made a call to Facebook without knowing any details. I don't know, you know, what header I had to pass. There were a lot of things, right? I don't know what token I had to pass. So without knowing all those details, I still can, you know, go and make an API call. I can fetch the response 
and now this is all up to you whatever test you wanted to write you can start writing the script right but that makes your life easy without knowing anything you are less dependent on your developer and you can start making the api calls right and it's not you know let's start with uh linkedin as well so go to linkedin so this is one of the you know uh article i had written but let's ignore that for now let's go to network clear this and say refresh okay so i see a lot of api calls over here as well for example this call okay this is not that call let me find that you know where i can see the response as well okay so i can see this one response let me find something which have multiple response yeah this one for example have multiple response right and it gave us some records maybe we don't don't understand but you know this page needs so let's imagine you know you wanted to test this api on your application that you are working you have to do right click copy the same thing you know copy as curl bash go to postman click on import raw text paste and continue import that's it make a request see this is a magic right now next time whenever you wanted to test you don't need to call your uh, developer hey give me a token hey tell me if i have to test this api what should i set over here you don't need to worry about hey tell me you know what are the parameters i need to pass don't worry just tell him i know i know how to you know get all this information right and that will make your life easy I hope you enjoyed and you know if you wanted to videos like same please subscribe the channel so we can stay in touch. I wish you have a nice day. Thank you. Bye bye.